Throughout the Boise mayoral race, we heard a lot of debate on public safety and the Boise Police Department. From a 50,000 foot perspective, we heard things like, well, Boise just doesn't feel safe like it used to. Or, I feel so much safer now than I did 10 years ago. So you got different perspectives there. Key word here is kind of like this feel, how it feels to you. Headlines and stories can push people to feel a certain way at a certain time, depending on what they're reading, maybe depending on their algorithm. But those stories don't always paint the whole picture. They're just that. They're just one kind of snippet of the whole picture. Grasping the whole story on public safety in Boise does take time, does take data, and the statistics, you got to compare all that stuff. Getting that information also takes time through public records requests, and that was the way it was until this week when Boise police rolled out their police data dashboards to track these crime stats and everybody can access them. Joe Paris spoke with Boise police leadership about it. Is the city of Boise a safe place to live? That answer is in the eye of the beholder. But Boise police understands the gravity of that question, so they're rolling out facts to supplement any feelings. The new dashboard online is really our effort to uh, give our community um, opportunity to look at crime statistics and things that are going on within our community. Boise Police Deputy Chief Tammany Brooks says this set of dashboards isn't just a window into crime. It is a complete data set for the public to look at. It not only allows them to see general information specifically relating to crime trends over you know a long-term period, but they can also look at crime specific details if they want to see things that are occurring within their own neighborhood or generally speaking within the entire city. Deputy Chief Brooks walks us through what people can expect to find on the set of four dashboards. We have the, the bar graphs that demonstrate kind of a, a trend analysis look over a period of time. And then we have those crimes broken down by person crimes, property crimes, and crimes against society. But we also have the mapping feature as well. And so some people may just want to see overall trends for the city. And some people may want to see information specific to actually where they live, where they work. The crime stats reflect a rolling five-year period, and they reflect reports as, as recent as 10 days ago. You can sort by crime type, area of the crime, and historical reports crucial for informed community discussion. They could actually see almost in live time, uh, at least within a couple of weeks, the, the crime trends that have occurred not only recently, but they can look back historically as well. It's not a said and done project either. Brooks says BPD is looking for feedback on the platform as well as trends that people find in the data. We invite that. And so with these new dashboards and the information that we're providing to the community, we want feedback. One. Uh, from a transparency standpoint, we are accountable to the people that we serve. And so we don't have a problem with people questioning, hey, we see this is occurring. What is the police department doing about it? Because that gives us an opportunity to share information with them as well. And it could answer and alleviate maybe some concerns that they have. This data was always available, but it did take extra steps through things like public records requests. And there are times and waiting periods. But now the data is published as quickly as possible all in an effort to show the community the reality of what Boise police sees. We're always striving to be transparent. We recognize that we're uh, reportable and responsible to the public that we serve. And so to me, this is kind of a good step forward for us to demonstrate our commitment to that level of transparency. So what are the limitations to this data? I'll tell you that personal information and specific addresses, they are not included in the dashboards. And serious crimes with the sensitive nature, crimes associated with sexual assault, for example, those are not included on the, uh, on the map to protect the identity of the victim. So the website also has a crime trend dashboard and residents can place filters to see the overall data. And according to the website, Boise's total number of crimes has been trending downward over the last five years. But let's play around on this a little bit. And this is actually, it'll show you just at the top of this map here. We're looking between November 15th and the 3rd of December. So those are the most recent. And if we zoom in, let's just go to this neighborhood, for example. You can just see in this small time frame, these are all of the reported crimes that have happened. For example, in downtown, let's take a look. What happened over on 12th Street? Well, we could see that there was a controlled substance uh, possession that happened at 2 o'clock in the morning on, on the 29th of November. What does that mean to you? Well, it depends if you live in that neighborhood. And sometimes we get, you know, comments. Oh, well, there was a fight on this block or I 
saw a lot of police lights. What was that? Well, you can look this up. And again, it's not exactly instantaneous in the sense that a crime happens and later that day it's going to show up. But as you go around and click through, you can kind of get an idea of, well, what does my neighborhood encompass? What is what is the area near where I work encompass? So uh, again, Brian, this is data that it's it's not new information. It's not like the Boise police had never published, you know, the crime reports going on in specific areas. Right. But now that it's transparent and people can go in this, it, frankly, it answers a lot of questions that we get into our newsroom. So, I mean, basically, you touched on it. This information has been available before, but usually they kind of release it like on a year end kind of thing or month to month. This just makes it a little bit more recently. You said within 10 days this stuff is posted. Yeah, about 10 days. Of, the, the goal is less than two weeks, but 10 days is really what we're looking at. And it's interesting, too, that the way that we got this data before, uh, sometimes spreadsheets, sometimes mm -hmm. documents, this is a very visual and a very uh, intuitive way to go through this. And I'm just telling you, just from the experience I had playing on it this afternoon, you can go through neighborhood by neighborhood and you can check exactly what's going on. Um, this is something that if you were to have to sort through in terms of like an Excel sheet, that would take a lot of time to get through. Now, it's right in front of us. Pretty easy. All right. Thanks, Joe.